Hello Libra, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how do you feel about each other. So as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Libra watching. You just keep that in mind that not every message is for you and some of it will resonate 100% and some of it will not. So take what resonates for you, what applies for your situation. Check out your other placements for more messages. I have in the description box links to every um, all of the playlists for each sign. So you can check out your other placements there. So let's jump right in for Libra. Messages for Libra regarding love. What do we need to know, Spirit? What message do you have for Libra in love? What's going on in the connection between Libra and their person? What's going on in this connection, Spirit? What's going on for Libra? Whoa. Okay. They told me to take those. Okay. Page of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Well, I feel like that's like opposite energy to an extent here. Page of Wands is like, let's go, initiative, action, um, communication, intention, going on an adventure, a journey, right? They're, they're willing to take risks to put themselves out there. The Four of Pentacles is more, let me guard this, let me protect this, let me save my money, let me hold back, you know, hold on to what I have. So I don't really feel like a connection here. So let's see, why the Four of Pentacles? Let's start there. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Ace of Cups, Reverse, Seven of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is because of someone being upset or heartbroken, disappointed. Someone maybe thought that this Ace of Cups was going to turn out differently. I don't, you know, and, and I say someone because this is what's going on in your connection. So both of you are here, both of your energies. So take it as it resonates. But I feel like someone's very heartbroken, disappointed at the fact that their choice, their option, the way that they thought this Ace of Cups was going to happen or, or the way they thought it was going to unfold, it didn't happen that way. Seven of Cups might be, you know, an illusion. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me more. I feel like someone's like holding back because of this. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles reverse. Someone feels they've wasted their time, wasted their energy, or put in their energy or time into something that didn't grow, didn't manifest. Um, this could be somebody that is tired of waiting for something or became tired of waiting for something. Um, interesting. So why the page of wands? Why is the page of wands here? Two of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Three of wands reverse. Oh, okay. This is someone stalling, procrastinating undecided tell me more about this page of wands seven of wands reverse look at all these wands super like you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius it's not doesn't have to be but this is like all fire energy here seven of wands reverse is someone that um doesn't have the courage to fight back or they're fighting for something that in a stubborn way something that they shouldn't be fighting for they're still they're still there um this could be somebody that has is losing courage so what i'm seeing here this could be a person on this side that is heartbroken and feels like this was a mistake um this connection was a mistake or this situation that they got themselves in was a mistake and they decided to pull back and then this person i feel this is a different energy someone who is 
hesitating on maybe reaching out, taking action, because they're losing courage. Because they, the longer they wait, the less brave they are. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Reverse. I feel like this is someone that wants to fix something. Ten of Wands, Temperance, yeah. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's get some insight into what you're thinking or feeling about each other. Libra, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. So feel free to flip the energies, though, if they resonate more. So the energies could be reverse. All right, Spirit, tell me about Libra and their person. The energies, please, Spirit, between Libra and their person. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra, Spirit. Sweet dreams, fantasy, dreams, imagination. Your dreams are becoming reality. Interesting, Libra. So I feel like you're the person that pr probably either you were sold an idea or a promise that didn't come true, or it took you some time to see an illusion here. Yep, deep regret. I feel like you regret something, Libra, or you regret the situation you find yourself in now. Maybe, you know, this person, if they did break your heart, you're kind of regretting giving them your heart in the first place. Like something like that. Tell me if that's resonating in the comments. Tell me about Libra's person. Tell me about Libra's person, please. Coming together. Destiny has brought you together. Yeah, this person, I feel like they want to reach out to you here. Hmm. Tell me more about Libra. Tell me more about Libra. What are Libra's energies? You and I were too young. I am afraid to contact you. I don't think you and I were too young is true in a way. Like I'm, I'm seeing that as immaturity. Someone, someone, one of you wasn't ready. I don't think it has anything to do with age. And maybe you are afraid to contact this person. Um, maybe you're afraid to hear from this person too. Maybe you don't want them to contact you. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be different for all of you, but I feel like you've pulled back in a way. Tell me about Libra's person. My life is not as together as it seems. Finding out the truth crushed me. I know that I crossed the line with you. Hmm. Well, interesting. So this could be one of those situations where this person knows that they um, hurt you. Now, my life is not as together as it seems. I feel like this person might be putting on an act or acting like everything's fine, like they're doing super well, you know? Tell me about Libra's energies. Let's see. We're also going to look at your person's energies. Um, what do we need to know about them and their intentions too? So we'll get a little bit more about them. The magician. Okay. Tell me about Libra's energies. Tell me about Libra's energies. Four of swords, reverse. Five of cups, reverse. Tell me about Libra's energies. The Fool. Interesting. What I see here is almost like with the Five of Cups reverse, the Fool, and the Four of Swords reverse, I feel like you, you kind of want um, to overcome this. Overcome the past. Overcome the feelings you have towards the past. The attachments you have towards the past. I feel like you're ready for something new or you're, you're ready to break free here. Tell me about the Fool. Why is the fool here? Three of cups reverse. Why is the fool here? Nine of swords reverse. 
overcoming fear, overcoming guilt, remorse. Three of Cups reverse is like um, the party is over, um, the good times are over, um, not wanting to come together or a delay in coming together. I feel like you're resisting this. There's the Tower and the Seven of Cups. Yep. I feel like something must have happened here that allowed you to kind of, um, or maybe will be happening here, Libra, that allows you to overcome these feelings that you have. Um, maybe a tower will happen or has happened that showed you the reality of a situation and it's like you're no longer scared, you know, or it could be that some of you maybe were in this situation because you had some sort of fear. Tell me about this three of cups about losing this person or fear about, you know, the end of the connection, but I don't think that that's holding you somewhere anymore because i have the five of cups reverse this is someone overcoming the past and the four of swords reverse is someone taking action tell me about the three of cups reverse why is the three of cups reverse here page of swords reverse why is the three of cups reverse the emperor reverse aries energy there's the magician again Someone lied to you or deceived you. Maybe they tried to control you or manipulate you with a lie. These two, I think of like a manipulator. I think of a con someone that controls the situation through deception or conflict. Um, maybe you had a fight with this person. Maybe someone pissed you off. What happened here? I think this is a situation too where it's funny, you're not regretful because of something you did. You're regretful because of the position you found yourself in because you trusted someone. I feel like you regret trusting them. Tell me if this is resonating in the comments. I feel like this is going to be a specific reading. I don't think it will resonate with, with all of you. Tell me one more, please, for Libra. Can I get one more energy? Six of Swords. Yeah. You're ready to leave this behind I see you ready to leave this behind I have the moon at the bottom of the deck Pisces energy um, I feel almost like you you want to leave even if you don't know how this is going to turn out so let's look at your person like you're willing to take a risk you don't even care what's on the other side tell me about Libra's person what do we need to know about this person The Hierophant Reverse, Taurus Energy. What do we need to know about this person? King of Swords Reverse. What do we need to know about this person? Aquarius, Libra, Ge Gemini Energy with the King of Swords. Three of Swords Reverse and the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Okay. So maybe there's a third party here because they have the Three of Swords Reverse and you have the Three of Cups Reverse. The third party could have been the lie or the fight or another person. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like this person confused you. They sold you on something. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. My life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, it's almost like this person must have told you something or, or misled you. They showed you a Ten of Cups, but deep down is a Ten of Wands. Some of you are dealing with someone that lied about their family or the fact that they had someone already. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse. Ace of Cups. I think they want to heal this, but I think it might be too late. Tell me about the Higher Farm reverse with the King of Swords reverse. 
Yeah, Seven of Swords. This person deceived you. It's there and it's not really clear. The energy, I had to like pry it out because this person's very good. <laughs> or it's it, there's more layers to this. For example, this could have been a white lie that just rolled into something huge. Or this person was very careful about how they presented something to you, knowing full well that you were going to take it a certain way. And that wasn't the clear truth. You know, something like that. What do we need to know about this person? Spirit, what do we need to know about this person that Libra is dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Okay. Open, inviting, and expressive, and fearless. So I feel like this person is going to be communicating with you. Um, and I almost feel like instead of um, fearless, I'm getting shameless in a way. <laughs> um, you know, I don't mean to upset anybody about their person, but I'm almost getting like this person's being very bold, but they don't have a place to be that bold. You know what I mean? Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know? The wolf. And then the starfish. Yeah, this is an illusion. This person presented themselves to be something they weren't. Um, the wolf, the starfish is all about seeing what's on the outside, but there's more than that on the inside. And that could be positive or negative. And the wolf is someone that appears to be very bold, very... I feel like this person could have been very charismatic, um, very uh, masculine, or someone that just appeared to have it together. Yeah, because they don't have it together. Can I get one more, please, for this person that Libra is dealing with, Spirit? I wasn't honest with you. Yep. I know. I know. I don't believe in coincidences and I trust my intuition. I mean, it might not be in the cards 100%, right? But I know the energy's there. Okay, so what are their true intentions towards Libra? What is this person's true intentions towards Libra? Five of Wands reverse. Yeah, they want to fix the problem. But it's a problem they caused. What are their true intentions towards Libra? The devil. Capricorn energy. Page of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. I feel like this person wants to apologize um, or express themselves to you. Um, com communicate with you. Because they know that that's one way to fix this. One, one way to fix this problem, right? Because now they're stuck in the problem they created. I feel like this has become unhealthy or toxic in a way, or this person is not, not a healthy person to be around. Tell me more. Tell me more. What do we need to know about these energies? Strength, Leo energy. What do we need to know about these energies? This is about bringing back control over the situation, Libra. Be very careful with this person. Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, be very careful with this person. I feel like this person, they're just upset or or regretful because they got caught. That kind of energy, you know? Or upset or regretful because it didn't it blew up in their face, you know? So I I, I think this person is not going to be completely honest with you in the future. And unless you like hold their feet to the fire, you know, um, and I feel like some of you already know that because I feel like you're ready to leave all of this behind. I feel like a lot of you are, you know, upset at yourself or upset at the fact that you've got you're in this position in the first place because you would never thought you were going to be in this type of a situation um, or you're upset at the fact that you trusted this person, you know, you you wish you hadn't is what I'm picking up here. And I think your instincts were right about this person. I don't think that's going to stop them from reaching out, but you know, it is what it is. Um, thank you so much for watching Libra. 
Um, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, if you enjoyed the reading. Uh, leave a comment down below if you just want to say hello um, or it resonated for you. I love hearing from you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.